Hello friends, welcome to another tutorial of this program. In this tutorial, we will be starting off with a new module and that is Brute Force Attack. So what is Brute Forcing? A Brute Force Attack is a trial and error method used by application program to decode encrypted data such as passwords or DES keys. DES stands for Data Encryption Standard. Through exhaustive efforts using brute force rather than employing intellectual strategies. A hacker may use a brute force attack to obtain access to a website and account, then steal data, shut the website down and execute another type of attack. The parameters may be usernames, passwords, authentication token, sequential values, receipt number, tracking numbers or anything that can be hacked to gain access or to either steal crucial information. Brute forcing is of two types. One, dictionary based brute forcing, and another is logical brute forcing. Now, let's see what is dictionary based brute forcing. The brute forcing attack are generally for targeting parameters like usernames or passwords. So, in this, the hacker usually creates a list of most commonly used passwords and usernames, which are also referred to as dictionary. That's why we call it dictionary attack. And over here, we use burp intruder for this attack. What is logical brute forcing? It takes place where there are sequential values, IDs, OTPs, etc. It starts from external logic to determine which password variation may be most likely to succeed and then continues with a simple approach to try many possible variations. Over here also, we use burp intruder for this attack. That's all for today. Thank you for watching this tutorial.